Hey guys, Fumbleek here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. So, uh, last time we were working on, I believe, well, yeah, separating out the medium security completely from the low risk. I mean, the low risk prison is huge, by the way. Look, look at all this space they get. Man, they got a good prison. And then medium just kind of shoved in the corner over here. I mean, we could expand as much as we wanted, but that's fine. Something that was pointed out, though, was, uh, bah, 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 here we go. People are ODing because of med uh, medium security guys can go from the laundry room, which is here, uh, and, so, well, not just the laundry room, laundry room, cleaning cupboard, visitation, uh, classroom, or the kitchen, uh, oh, whoops, kitchen, there, and then back into the cells without going through any metal detectors, and, oh, whoop, I don't know who I just moved, whoops, <laughs> I should stop clicking stuff, hang on, deselect, deselect, how do I, okay, uh, wait, do I have some, no, okay, we're good, whoa, okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Right, so anyway, yes, that is a very good point. Uh, we do have... So this whole area up there... So the whole... Actually, the whole area up the top, that's all medium security, right? Okay. Yeah, so that's all fine. They can't go through that door, that's fine. They... 100% should not be going through that door. I... I actually don't know why a bunch of my... Prisoners just walk through the staff door. Uh... You're not supposed to be able to go through staff doors. That's the whole point of staff doors. Okay. Well, I don't know why that's happening. That's not supposed to happen. Just, I mean, even though it's a staff, like, it's a staff door. It's not supposed to let them through, even if the deployment's the same. I, okay. If anyone can tell me how to fix that, let me know. But otherwise, other than that, yes, they can. Uh, so basically, we have our metal detectors here. Uh, and to the entrances of the cell block area down the bottom. Uh, there's not- we don't have any entrances up the top anyway, so we don't have to worry about that, but they can come this way without ever going through metal detectors, and that is a pretty big <laughs> oversight on my part. So I'm gonna put those in. Now, I- I mean, that's not why they're ODing, uh, because metal detectors aren't gonna detect- uh, detect drugs anyway, because they're not metal. Unless, for some reason, they did have metal drugs, which would be a whole other issue that we'd be experiencing in the prison. Um, no, that's not the real- oh, look at all these gangs in here. Yeah, we got a lot of gangs. Uh, that's not the reason, but as, I mean, we're definitely not helping it by not scanning them anywhere. Oh, hello. Got a thing that I don't care about. Found 21 out of 177. Okay, go away. I forgot that you can't, like, close those. I really don't... Okay. It'll disappear eventually. There it goes. Right, so the other thing is, I think I'll just add a few metal detectors around here. So, well, this area... It's a little strange, actually. I probably should have had that staff door further... Damn. Oh, move the cleaning. Maybe I'll move the cleaning cupboard door up the top a little bit because... Only because then we can do metal detectors... Uh... Wait, what am I trying to do? Hold up. Well, I can do a secure door there so then the staff room is separate, which would probably be ideal. Uh, you know what? There's not really any point. Who cares about that? Uh, let's do metal detectors there though at the end of that corridor. And same with this one. We probably should have them, just so they get scanned anyway, even though there's nothing in this- I mean, I don't know if there's anything metal in there. Uh, the other thing we should do is look at intelligence. That was a, a good suggestion. So let's go have a look at the seven- past seven days. Uh, and then we can find out where a bunch of drugs are coming from. So yes, they're getting a lot of poison from this cleaning cupboard, uh, which is no shock. This guy's been all over. Uh, so found that- wait, where, so where did this one come from? Oh my god, this, this one's also been all over. Uh, so it must have, it came in deliveries then, which is surprising because I'm pretty sure don't I have a dog patrol in the delivery area and then also Yes, yeah, there and then all the way along. Although actually that's only on schedule two Hmm, which is probably not a good thing Schedule one is there. Oh, no, we have one on each although wait, what's get we're in schedule two now, but there's no dog assigned to it We don't have enough dogs. I think is a huge issue <laughs> as it turns out. I'm gonna get some more kennels. Um, Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Six. You know what? Let's get six more dogs. Because I mean, the, I think the thing is, I assume. Do these guys have to go to the staff room as well? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So there's loads more dogs now. Dog patrols. If that's not filled, there you go. Those two should also be filled. And that one there. There you go. And these two here. I think that's, uh, we're getting a bit of a lapse in security at the moment. Those two and those three are now not assigned. Wait, how many do we have assigned at one time? Is it probably a good question? 
Hang on, let me just leave it on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 assigned at once. So we probably should have at least 28 dogs. And then during the eating hours, there's even less. There's not really anything there. We always have them through the deliveries, which is good because we should definitely have that. Uh, then that is just general work day. That's fine. Still through there. But yeah, during during the night time, we have a lot. Uh, I mean, to be honest, should we just have them there all day? It's probably good. It's probably good to have them. Although, at least in the, you know, whoops. At least in the communal areas, I think I'll do it. Like, I mean, I feel like there should still be a dog here during the day. There's no reason not to have one there. Because if prisoners are walking, especially here. Because uh, we're, in, well, this is during eat time. But, um, it's, because the thing is, if they get de and they have to come back again. Because we have them, oh, actually, during the day, we don't even have them there. They definitely should be there during the day. Uh, and, yeah, they, I mean, they really should be everywhere. As many as we can get. I mean, maybe not through that area. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe we should, because, just do it. Because, if they're trying to smuggle drugs back to their rooms, um, we might be able to catch them with the dogs here. So, one, two, three... Uh, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is annoying to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, so it's 16. So really we want 32 dogs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 kennels in a row. Uh, we probably want another kennel. I'm gonna be honest, that's not very big. You know what, we could get one right- Yeah, let's do a kennel here. This is probably actually a much better place anyway. Uh, this- I mean, you know what, we don't even- we don't even build a wall there. What's the point of that? Let's just put a door in, because if you got a door, you got a gym. And by that, I mean we have a kennel. Uh, I- I mean, it turns out the staff door is completely useless in this game now. It doesn't act as a staff door anymore, as we found out, which is news to me. Drinking the refreshing taste. No, you don't drink a taste. Drinking a refreshing cup of coffee, I am. That's what I'm doing. It's pretty great. Uh, let's have a look at... Uh, so this is going to need to be directly connected because it's an outside one. Outside ones are always super annoying. They're always like, ooh, I'm going to be connected. Actually, I don't know. I might have needed to connect there. I guess we'll find out. All right. So this is then going to connect to one of my door controls. Because if you got a door control, you got a gym. There you go. And then I'm going to go for materials, and I'm just going to grass it, because I think it's going to look lovely. And actually, you know what? I'm going to remove... Let's just, you know, let's just have a bit of fun. Let's just make this place look nice. We're going to move the kennel here. Yeah, I didn't power it. How annoying is that? It needs to be... <laughs> That's so dumb. It needs to be there. Even though there's a huge, like... A huge, like, square meter of cables right there. It's not, it's not quite close enough. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so materials... So once I've done that, and I'm still stumped, so I guess is the issue. I really hate how there's a garbage bag there, and that's never going to disappear. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to come all the way across. 2,000 bucks, but we do have $100,000, so that's also fine. Right, so I'm going to go concrete pavers. Uh, I guess I'm going to do this. So we get 19. I'm going to basically run the kennels along the bottom there. Do 19 there. And let's say another 19 there. That's what I'm going to do. We can go rooms. This will become. I'm just gonna remove the other kennel completely. I think. I mean, actually, you know what? I'll keep it. Yeah, you know, we might as well keep it. But I think I'll remove some of the actual, uh, some of these. It's a little. It's a little crowded in here. Let's go ahead and dismantle. It's a. It's not a very nice kennel. Let's dismantle. Let's just dismantle this whole row. Because there's only one dog using that one, so we can still have what nine of them in here. That's not bad. And then we'll have the rest of them over in the other one. So. So we'll dismantle those, and then they'll come up over this way. So now... Oh, hello? Oh, good effort. Good effort. Uh, uh, let's prioritize that stuff there. Get that tunnel filled in. Cool. And then, uh, anyway, back over this way. Uh, I want a... Kennel... Oh, wait. What is it called? Dog... Crate. Okay. I think by default they face the right way. Oh my god, that's a lot. Well, oh, you know what? I just said they face the right way and I didn't place these ones in correctly. Alright, so rooms, this will be a kennel. Alrighty. So all of this will be a kennel. 
And then we're going to go deployment, make sure that's staff only. Even though, I mean, no one else can get to that, even if it wasn't staff only, but it will be staff only. I think this hallway should, well, that should definitely be staff only. That should be staff only. I don't know, I don't know why this stuff isn't staff only, to be honest. Holding cell, that's really for anyone, so that's why it's uh, whatever color it wants to be. Um, yeah, because prisoners do not need to go in this hallway, so, or out, or out to exports or deliveries. They definitely should not be there. All right, so we've got some dogs using this one too, which is good. So that means hopefully the people around that way will use that one. Uh, and this one will be a little less crowded, although it still seems like there's a few people there. Right, so those are not connected to the grid. How much power do we have on said grid, by the way? It's getting full. Oh, that one's really full. Uh, what are we using? So we've only got, we got three power stations. This is this one here. I don't, so basically I don't want to add any more to this grid. Because this one was pretty full and we already added a couple metal detectors to that with those. Uh, let's do a shakedown. We don't have that many, we're not making that much money. The problem is we've got so many hired, uh, there's a lot of workers here and not a lot, not enough prisoners to really uh, justify it. But the thing, to be fair, we're still making money because, because we're uh, reforming the prisoners and they're getting released. That's helping us out quite a lot. So I'm going to do... That guy wants luxuries. Well, you're not going to get it, buddy. I'm going to turn this into solitary now because I haven't done that yet. Oh, found a tunnel. Oh, I never figured out what I was going to do that. I guess we're just going to leave that. All right, so then this will be solitary down like that. Okay, so tunnel is over here. Good effort, mate. Good effort, but not good enough, unfortunately. As it seems, you did not succeed. And then I'll... Oh yeah, that's uh, that's why I had to put a door there last time because they were digging out there. I think. All right, so that will uh, that'll get taken care of eventually. We're doing our shakedown. It takes a little bit of time to get through everything. I really wish that they would not walk through this thing here. So what I want to do: deployment, access only. Only go in the canteen if you need to get there. Why is the yard access only actually? Oh, I did that because uh, the staff, the hallway. That's right. Okay. Well. Because currently, I mean, it's fine, obviously fine for the chefs to do that, but I don't want, um... Oh, my prisoners are still doing it. I guess they're doing it because this is also access only. Why are they going through this door? This shouldn't be allowed. Maybe if I just dismantle it and put it back again. Maybe it's just bugged. I mean, it's definitely bugged, but I don't know the reason it's bugged, you know? Maybe we just replace it. There you go. Put that door back in. They should not be able to walk through that. Okay, those guys. We'll have we'll have a look when all these guys leave. It's 8 a.m. Okay. And eating is still going. Actually, how are they doing with eating, by the way? Oh, not not well, it turns out. Not well at all. Yeah. Not enough food. I don't know, is it was it just because we were doing a shakedown? No, they still seem to love going through my staff door. I don't know why. Allow staff only, you prick! <sighs> what am I I don't know what to do about that. That's really annoying, and I'm not sure why that's happening. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Anyway, so we're doing a, we're doing the shakedown. That's good. Uh, I mean, a few more things to go. Well, we've got a pretty good array of items here. Like that's not bad. All right. So we didn't seem to feed everyone, and I I'm hoping that was just because of the shakedown, and sometimes because the chefs can't get to the deliveries because the doors don't open because there's no one on the doors. So I'm hoping that's what it was. Now, it was also suggested that I should expand the height of my deliveries because that will sort out uh, any traffic issues. However, having said that, I don't think we're really getting any traffic issues right now. We'll, we'll, have, we'll keep an eye on that if it gets worse. Uh, okay, well, these, that's, that's like two places not getting searched. So we'll just end that there. All right, cool. Now, what else? What else? Uh, I missed a concrete paving tile under the right-hand metal detector at the top of the prison. Uh, uh, next to the kitchen. Okay, good. That's a very good description. Concrete paving tile. Next to... Oh! See? That that right there, people, is an example of an amazingly well-written comment. Because they described literally exactly where it was, under a metal detector at the top of the prison, next to the kitchen. And Because uh, when people say, you missed, a, you missed thi this thing at time, it's like, oh, well, that doesn't help me because I can't click on the time in the middle of a video. Uh, but thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for adding parole. It was really annoying me. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have parole there for the longest time. There's no lights in those rooms either, I just realized. <laughs> These are not the best rooms, I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, for the longest time they were not sorted out properly. Anyway. There you go. They're like, hey, we got some light now. That's good. Uh, I feel like I don't... 
I don't normally ever add windows to any rooms in this game ever because they literally do nothing. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. In, um, just do it like that. When you have cell grading turned on, they can make the cells have a better rating. But uh, in normal usage, like just putting them in this room, they don't do anything. You know what? I think it'd be nice to have some windows there. I don't know what, actually, wait, what is happening? Why are my prison? This, this prison is like bugged because <laughs> why? Why are my prisoners sitting on the board side? They should be sitting on that side. Uh, my prisoners are like acting like staff members, and it's maybe because they're gang members. They're like, you don't tell me what to do. I'll do what I want. All right. So now let's have a look. Uh, I think I need to. Well, I really actually. Well, do we have a, We do have cell block D. Increase the 200 prisoners. Now, I think that we could either go plan a whole new section of prison or just quickly build more prison to go onto this section, which we could definitely do. Um, but it's not really designed for more capacity, though. But I guess we should probably do it anyway. How many? Wait, so we've got 54 normal security. Uh, but looks at, oh no, no, medium capacity 60, but we only have currently 54. Okay. So we've got 60 capacity in here. And with our tables, we have 4, 8, uh, 16, uh, 32, 64, uh, 72. So we can't really take that many more people. If we wanted to have more people, we need to make the canteen bigger. Oh, I'll get a second canteen. Which we could absolutely do, but then it's just like building a whole new area again, and it's a whole thing. I think we could just get more people in the one canteen, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, okay, well... Well, I guess really all we need more of is canteen. Uh, potentially more kitchen. Do we need more kitchen stuff? How many kitchen... No, I have 20. I don't need more than that, do I? We've only got 160 prisoners. Surely we don't need more than 20 cooks. I don't really know. This is, this is all such a, <laughs> such a guessing game for me. Now, it would be nice to just have an expansion here, but and then I got to cross over this hallway that I've already built, which is kind of annoying. So I think I'm going to build down here. Let's go ahead and uh, let me plan some stuff out. So that's obviously where the hallway is going to go. We do have a hallway there, but I might just cut that off. Uh, no, I don't. Actually, I don't actually know how this is going to work. So low risk, go around this way. <laughs> that tap works. It's such a weird setup uh, to get to there. I, don't, I also don't know why that, that we still have that storage area that's outside. I, don't, I just don't know how I'm going to do this. Or maybe we just start fresh and go straight for protective custody across the road on the other side. Maybe that's what we do. Uh, okay, well, the entrance of the prison is here. So I guess let's do an equivalent entrance. Well, it's not really an entrance. It's like a... Well, it is. It goes to a hallway. Um... Let's do an equivalent thing over this side. Because, I mean, we might have other stuff besides just protective custody here. Uh, so this is going to be here. And there. Now, this will go to a hallway. Uh, I mean, I guess like that somewhere. I mean, well, I don't need a double up the wall. I wasn't going to have a double wall everywhere. That seems unnecessary. So it'll be here. Uh, hang on. Oh, no. Pathway, pathway, pathway. So this will be here. No, it won't. Like this. It'll continue up this way somewhere. Like that. Uh, I guess I won't bother having a bit of hallway there. Or maybe I will. I mean, I don't really know why I have that. I'm not really sure. I think it just kind of just went with the flow. Anyway, so this will go here or something. Whatever. Then we'll have... Uh, so this will be like a little entrance. Actually, hang on. I guess it should be more like... How do I do this? I did that one like this, so like that, and we had a wall here and here, and then yeah, that connects through. Okay, so that goes through like that, that's fine. Then we'll have protective custody here, so I guess we kind of need to build a whole prison again. I mean, I guess we don't really need a reception, they can go to this reception and then be transferred over the other side and all that kind of stuff, like it doesn't need everything. Also, how many people, oh actually I, sh I need to get that mod that automatically puts people in protective custody, otherwise I'm going to have to do it manually, which is a prick and a half move. Uh, okay, so the building is going to be here. It's only going to have a two-wide hallway because I feel like it doesn't need to be any bigger than that. So that's going to go there. Then, so you walk in. Uh, we don't need offices. We really just need... Let's go straight for a kitchen. Maybe like there. 
It doesn't need to be big. So we can go... Maybe go cookers, fridge, cookers, fridge. Uh, and then maybe like sink. I mean, that's probably all we need. If we do it like this, make it a little bit smaller on this side. Then we can put a few more things there, but we'll keep it that sort of size. And then... Canteen can go here. Look at this. It's beautiful. I don't I don't expect we'll have many in protective custody. That's my assumption. Whether that assumption is correct or not, I couldn't tell you. So we'll do that there, and then we're gonna have a table. Uh, nope, do it the other way. I have a table there. No, we're not. That that actually doesn't help at all either. This is not a great sized canteen. Yeah. I guess I will go one higher where it was before. There you go. Lovely. And then I'll move this. Maybe do this this way. That doesn't really work. Or we could just do this. So we can have uh, three things there, three things there. So we can have a fridge in the middle on either side, then cook, cook, cook. Yeah, okay, that works. All right, let's do that. Uh, and then uh, I'll move the serving table a little bit to there. So it's in the center and it looks beautiful. I'm going to go there, there. You know, we'll plan, we'll plan for four tables because that will allow us to get 32 people in protective custody, which I think is going to be enough. I think 32 should be enough. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to go there. This is, I guess, going to be a shared hallway. Like, it doesn't... I don't know. The thing is, protective custody could be medium-risk prisoners or high-risk prisoners. Or low. However, having said that, there'll be less people and we'll probably just have permanent guards stationed around, so it should be... it'll probably be safer anyway. So that should be fine. Alright, so then, from that, that'll back on to... Let's just say this is a common room right here. Nice big common room. Uh, okay, I just want to roughly plan this out. So, and I essentially want this to be a shared space. And then I want this... This could be a yard, easily. Yard out there. And then we do cells on the other side, so you have a nice big like, outdoor experience. This is, a really, this is a really nice outdoor experience. And then we don't actually have to use this hallway. We do need, like, parole on that, but we can put that... I guess we can put it on the other side here. So maybe if we have this as a, uh... A yard. I mean... That's pretty big for 32 people compared to the size of my yards for like way more. I guess it's actually, that's pretty big. This is pretty much a whole yard here, to be fair. There's a few rooms in the middle, but it's mostly that. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, all right, so over here, uh, um, I mean, I guess we could make it a bit smaller. We will need like psychology. Oh, hello. Oh, potential tunnel. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't think there's going to be a tunnel there. If there is, the only way it could have happened is if someone dug from here around the lake and then this way. Which I don't think would make sense, because you'd probably just go straight up. Or you go this way around the lake and then to there. Which again wouldn't really make sense, because you'd either just go that way. Or if you're going here and then up. What was the other one? There. I mean, that could be a, that could be a tunnel. Um, it's potential. It's potential, but we'll see if we keep getting more. I mean, maybe someone's... Is there a pipe in there? No. I was say, maybe someone's tunneling through a pipe. Nope. Alright, back over this way. So... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. I don't know if I... Do I want to build up? I mean, I've not built anything else up, so maybe I don't want to go up. Let's go the other way. Let's go the other way, because I, I don't know. I feel like I don't want to go up. So this is a hallway. Cool. Uh, then we're going to have... Maybe there's a cell block at the end here? How can we fit this in? Let's see. So we go like this. These will be self-contained cells that will have the showers and all that in it, much like the other ones. Oh, yeah, we can even give them luxurious cells. So could be... Uh-oh. Uh, uh, -oh. uh, oh. Apparently fired off a lost complaints. Uh, okay. Well, I think, well, actually, that was a, that was a point you guys raised. We do actually have a radio in, um, staff room somewhere. Is it this one? TV radio. Yeah, but it, we do have one there, but prisoners can't get to that one, so it's fine. You guys did point that out to me, though, so thank you. Uh, maybe the, oh, hello. Maybe the other way. Maybe they'll fit better this way. Hang on. Oh, not that. <laughs> no, not a two by two. There you go. At least a two by three. No. Okay. Uh... Let's just do it over here. So what I want to do, I guess we'll go for a... Hmm, I'm just, I don't know. Like, how should I approach this? Well, let's go for a psychologist's office, which is a 4x4, four four. yep. Then we need a parole room. We'll need at least one parole room, which I think was a 5x5. Five five. Uh, parole, 5x5. Five five. What else do we absolutely need? That's kind of more of an office-y type. Oh, visitation? Okay, so that's where all this stuff's going to go. So we're going to go... Psychologist's office there. We're going to have like a hallway here, I think, is what we're going to do. Maybe not there, because we're going to need a bigger room here. We're going to have 
a parole, which is going to be six by six on the outside, five by five. Yeah. So I actually just increase the size of that office. So that'll go there. Then we need visitation. So in which case, I'm actually going to... Mm, visitation. No, visitation can still go here. Unless we just go... Oh, we do visitation on this side. How about that? So if we use the um, the visitor booths, which I think can run that way, right? Visitor booths. Yes, they can. Okay. Wait, can they rotate both ways? <laughs> they go both ways. Um, always a good thing. Now, let's see. 10 is there. Okay, that's perfect. I mean, we don't need five visitor booths. I'll tell you that much because there's not going to be that many people. Let's go six. So we'll have three visitor booths. Which even, to be honest, that's probably still too much. But so we go, okay, visitation, uh, we got the psychologist, we have the parole. What else could we potentially need in this area? Maybe a staff room would actually be useful here, so there's one locally. Uh, laundry, cleaning cupboard, all that kind of stuff as well. Okay. So let's go... Like that. I think I just want to, I want to roughly build out this area so I know where stuff has to go. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's see if we just go like... So we're going to have 32 cells. So let's say... One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, right? Four, eight. Okay, so eight. So then if we just did it pretty much in that layout of the tables, I wouldn't mind having the common room maybe, instead of having the common room there, maybe have it part of the cell block. Much like we did over here, but sort of like in the middle of the cell blocks. I kind of like that uh, that layout more than having a dedicated common room. In which case, uh, we would want to do maybe a couple rows of cell blocks. That's not really going to work, though. Unless we go around 8, 32, though. 32 is a lot of cells. Hmm. Well, we can do it like this. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to be able to get a common room in the middle. Maybe what we do instead, before I go too far, let's just do it at the end so they sort of go onto it. Uh, it doesn't need to be too big. So let's just remove two cells at the front here. And then this will be like the common space here. That'll sort of join through there. Yeah, so then that's sort of more the entrance area. This is the common space. That can be, I don't know, whatever other rooms we need. Like, there's a bunch of other stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, perfect. So there, and then obviously these will run down the same way there. Is that too big? Yes, it is. Whoops. Wait, no, that's too small. That's just right. There you go. And then the same here as well. So like that. So that will be the cells. Then we have the common space here at the front, which is huge, I might add, which is good. Uh, so that's going to go there. This is a big protective custody. This is probably too big. You know what? You know what I'll do? Let's not build this many cells. Let's just cut it basically in half because if we need more... It's going to be easy to add it, but we're not going to need to start off with that much. So let's go like that. So we start off with 16 cells. And then if we need more, we can always add more in, which is good. So common space there. Uh, I don't know what that... But that was going to be the common room, but we changed that. I guess this could be a yard space now. But I think I'd rather turn this into some form of room system. With building stuff there. Uh, this over here, this could either be like a staff room or something like that. Or we also needed a cleaning cupboard... So that could go over here. That's a potential. Uh, or we do like cleaning cup and stuff over this way. So maybe we go... Let's uh, let's leave a hallway there. Because we'll still have... The, I think we'll have the yard over this side. So we're going to leave a hallway there. And we're going to have a cleaning cupboard. Maybe... Here. And then some other thing there. Oh, maybe a laundry as well would be good. Maybe a small laundry cleaning cupboard and then a miscellaneous room, which I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. And then, okay, let's just build this. I just, I really just wanted to get the, um, the space built so I could see how much I, like, what I, so I can just build the whole area and then we can get everything done after that. Hang on, we need to have doors in this place. Dismantle. Demolish walls, please. Thank you. Right there. Uh, we're gonna need to... What did I do over here? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need a regular wall, because you can't do door servos on these walls. So I'm gonna go... The door will be... There and there, won't they? So let's go... Perimeter, perimeter. Actually, let's not do that. That's a mistake. Let's go concrete, 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 concrete. And then... Demolish the bit in the middle, that's good. And then... It's gonna be, need to be jail door, jail door, jail door. Okay. So let's prioritize 
that first because that's that's literally the first thing that needs to happen before we can get anything else done and then some concrete tiles there so if you could get those oh we got a wooden door right there i for some reason thought that there was no way to get it through here i guess i had to put that wooden door in once before but anyway now that that's gone cool all right then get through there perfect no worries uh so that's gonna go there concrete tiles i guess we'll go down like this and then i might as well go for a perimeter wall running to here and to here and to the edge of that building because why not like we might as well just block off this section here and then if we need to expand more we can all right so it's gonna be like super secure and then like a wooden door <laughs> just in the middle it's like cool cool that'll keep us safe uh all righty there you go get those and get that and then we're gonna you know what let's get another power station i think that's gonna be important can we get another one down here do you reckon if we get another one like maybe on this side because we could either run the we can definitely run the cable around that way and I'm going to have to break that cable so and get through, but we can do it. So let's go ahead and build another power station. Because that's like, that's running hot. Alright, so what I want to do, utilities. So it's going to have to be wall gap. Yeah, okay, so if we build it here. So that, that will be the power room. Five by five, yep. Yeah. Uh, we can, we can, like, we can join the building. There's no reason not to, but I guess I might as well plan it to have more stuff i kind of like the the weird design of this place like where it's all sort of like joined like this it's kind of cool so you sort of walk through you can join through the middle there and then it connects to these ones okay let's do that let's go ahead and put actually let's just demolish a wall uh there now you know what i might actually move this a little further in case just so that they're spread out a little bit more how far is the gap between those six so let's actually move that six because then the reason i do that is if one of them blows up it shouldn't affect the other ones is ideally what i want to avoid and then we can still have them connected with these weird little hallways i don't know it's like <laughs> it's like a weird little power station setup and i like it all righty there you go so those will go like this and then do we have them like join like this in the middle how would we do it so it'd have to be like this I mean, you know what, it's probably better to just have like a courtyard in the middle than join it like that. So why don't we, we'll just join a little bit like pathways. I think it'll look alright. Okay, so that's going to go like that. So we're going to go, uh, building, is this brick? It's hard to tell because it's got like the lines all over it. Yeah, it is brick. Okay. Uh, building brick right there, right there, and right there, and right here, and there. And they'll come down and do that. There you go. Get on it, boys! Oh, it looks great. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more power for this place up over here. Right, so this is looking good. Uh, yeah, they're getting stuck at all these doors, which I'm not surprised about, by the way. <laughs> I'm not surprised that you're getting stuck there. So down the bottom now, uh, we're gonna need to go requires an entrance. So we're actually gonna, gonna go for demolish these walls in between each of these. And not, yeah, that counts as an entrance. Perfect. So that will now build. And then we're going to go for doors. I mean, probably to start oh, stuff. Those wooden doors would be fine. And then let's go ahead and go build concrete tiles. Who are these guys? Why are these people here? Get out of here. You can't... Oh, they're going to like go through that door and walk through this way. Is that what's going to happen? Idiots. Well, they won't be able to do that soon. All right, so we're going to do concrete tiles like that, then grass and grass, and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a nice little courtyard, and we'll make sure we have plenty of sprinklers here, just in case. Look at this, it's beautiful! <laughs> All right, so let's get out uh, some sprinklers. So where do I put the other ones? I got one in the middle, and I think I just sort of dotted them around the place as well. I'm definitely going to put them here. I'm just going to, like, really get a lot of them. Maybe one in each of these corners as well. The reason I'm putting them like that and in the middle is because if this blows up, it might destroy the sprinkler. Like, so it might destroy that one. Then I'll have this one to back it up, etc. So then I want to go, I'm going to put it on the, off the diagonals of each of the corners and then maybe in the middle. Uh, so there and then off the diagonal. Wait, that's a, that's a weird, did I do the same thing there? Yeah, I did. So it's actually there. Actually, that doesn't really work here. 
Uh, whatever, we'll do, this, we'll do the same thing. Uh, so then, the way there is where I want it, technically, and there, and there, and there. You know what, we'll just get a bunch of them. Okay, so those are all there. Uh, I'm gonna bring this pipe all the way around just to make sure that it's not getting destroyed by explosions, because again, that can happen. So we want to keep the pipe as far away as possible. Now, if we can get this to join these as well in a way that's not going to... Yeah, oh, hello tunnel. Get blown up. I'm trying to build... Because I don't think this pipe will get destroyed by either of those explosions if that happened. Um, oh, potential tunnel right through the kennel. Who is, an, who is stupid enough to dig through there? The one place that you're going to get found out is if you dig right underneath the kennel. Now... Yeah, some might say, hey, hey, uh, hey, James, you're being a little overly cautious with uh, all these sprinkler connections. And you might be right. But you also might be wrong. But the more, the more redundancy, the better, to be honest. So, there. Uh, go there. I think it's worth it. In case something bad ever does happen to our place. <laughs> but, you know. Can never be too sure. Can to go there? Can we go here? And that should actually connect up all of them. Except for that bit that they didn't put a pipe on for some reason. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do, after all of this, electrical cable, I'm going to have to basically... I mean, this whole cable runs down just to power that one thing. So we can actually disconnect this all the way at the top. Like right there. And then actually run this over here. And up. And then this can be used to service this guy this entire building, which would be way, way better than the current application of it. So, this is going to run through this building like so. Power all of that. It does, unfortunately, currently mean that these things are going to be unpowered, but it'll be back soon. So, we're just going to get one power station for now. I feel like we don't need to get the other one up and running just yet. So, we're going to go prioritize that, and this electrical cable will run uh, just directly out like that. So, prioritize that section there, too. Uh, let's see, I should be able to open that for you guys. There you go. And then you're getting stuck down the bottom, too. There you go. See you guys. See you guys. Oh, good. They put a box of pipes there to, to prop open the door. That's smart. <laughs> good. That's smart. Thanks, guys. Uh, oh, my God. Listen to that. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> All right. Then we also want to get in. Get some lights. That's pretty much where the sprinklers are, you know? Let's just do it. There you go. And maybe on that one too. Just so we really brighten up the place, you know? Eh, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, okay, so this is all coming together quite nicely. This guy here is running so, so hot. I wish you could just do like load balancing between them so you could have them all sort of grouped together. Toggles you a bit of load balancing, yeah. That's just toggles power. It doesn't... I want to load balance my power across multiple things. Oh, what is it? There you go. Open that for you guys so we can get them through. Okay, so that should hopefully... Is this not connected yet? Oh, really? One? You've missed one? Come on. I hate that so much. It's so unfair. Okay, guys. See you guys. Uh, where's, the, where's the one cable that we need just to finish that? Are you kidding? Okay, well, I'm on door opening duty until we have power back here. Hello? Cable? Oops. Really? How is that? How is this priority? They did like literally everything else first. Oh, oh, hello. A potential tunnel there. I, mean, I guess you could be digging down. Although, no, you wouldn't. Why would you dig down? You'd always dig up. And in which case, this person's not going to be digging left, but they're going up. So, no, no, I don't believe that. Um, all right, so let's go. Du -du -du -du. Deployment. Just making stuff only. Now, did I miss these or have they just not finished them? No, for some reason they skipped half the pipes. So, put those back in. Uh, how is that still not built? Mate, do you even know what priority means? Because I don't think you do. Anyway, that should finally give it power. There you go. Jesus. All right, so now we've got a nice little power. Look at this beautiful power station down there. It's great. Uh, all right, so that's our little power hub. And that's going to be powering this guy up here. Or not, because it's not connected. Oh, because it's gone through the, um, the perimeter wall. Alright, well, in that case, let's just go this way. 
Uh, we got to patch that hole there, that's for sure. Let's just go up and through here, because this is always going to be a, a gap in it. And I'm going to dismantle this, because otherwise it's going to annoy me that it's there. So it's going to... Oh, no! Dismantle that section, which I didn't mean to. Let me put that back. All right, so that's going to go there instead. Then I'm also going to go... Dem no, demolish walls. I want to dismantle that door, because that should really not be there. That seems like a bit of a security hole. And there you go. Now... Uh, we do have door servers there, but I'm going to imagine I did not connect them. So, let's go ahead and connect those up. I think which one? This one has, like, no connection, so that's going to be you. No, don't call me. The doctor, what do you want? Uh, we're getting a report of sickness from a number of prisoners. It might be worth identifying and quarantining the, quarantining the infected to stop it from spreading. Uh, I hate the disease one, actually. It's kind of annoying. So, if they look green, that's how you know they're in infected. Well, I'm going to pause it there. Maybe I'll remember to do that next time. Maybe I'll completely forget about it. But until then, uh, make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I do want to get the mod to automatically assign prisoners to uh, protective custody. Or also, if you know anything about the weird staff door that's not a staff door, uh, let me know about that too. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.